Live at Free Entertainment. Well, he's one of our most loved entertainers, but it's hard to believe not long ago, original Yellow Wiggle, Greg Page, was in the fight of his life. Yeah, that's pretty serious, isn't it? After suffering a cardiac arrest on stage last year, he's now using his experience to fight for change, hoping more Aussies who suffer the same will be saved. I know what I survived, and I know I've come out the other side with a, a purpose and a mission to try and change outcomes for other people. I can tell you feel that very deeply. Yeah, yeah, I do. It's, um, it's, oh, I can't find the words, but it's about saving lives for families like mine that are torn apart when suddenly somebody's life is taken. We are also grateful that Greg is still here with us today. He's hosting a very special CPR class this weekend and he joins us now in Sydney. Greg, nice to see you again. Um, and I'm so glad, you know, that, that, you're, that you're doing this. Just going back to that night, did you have any warning signs that it was going to turn out the way it did? No, I didn't. And look, unfortunately, that's the case for around 50% of people that have a sudden cardiac arrest. There's no prior cardiac diagnosis of anything that could suddenly take their life away from them. And for me, no warning signs. No, I was physically fit and active, so I didn't think I was a candidate for a heart attack, let alone a cardiac arrest. So this was during a stage show, right? Just, just tell us what happened. Just give us a bit of a, um, a, a picture of what happened. Yeah. Night. So the, the Wiggles performance is quite a physically um, demanding performance. And like I said, I thought I was physically fit, but I didn't know I had, had heart disease. So during the show, with all the blood flowing through my heart, a little bit of plaque broke off. So the blood knocked a little bit of plaque loose, and that clotted one of my arteries 100%, caused a massive heart attack, and sent my heart straight into cardiac arrest. So that's when I collapsed at the side of the stage, and if it wasn't for bystanders who stepped in, I probably wouldn't be here today. I mean, that's it, isn't it? And it's so weird to say, sit here and say you were so lucky, but in a way you were. What do you think it was that saved you? It's something called the chain of survival. It's the fact that those bystanders were able to call, push, shock. So once they realised I wasn't responding, they called triple zero. Uh, once they knew I wasn't breathing, they started CPR and they found an AED, an automated external defibrillator, and they used that to shock my heart. So call, push, shock. It's a chain of survival. We know it can increase survival rates dramatically, and that's really why I'm here today. And I think it's right in saying that they kept you alive for 26 minutes. That, that is incredible. Um, how are you doing now, Greg? I'm really well now, thanks, Alex. I'm uh, fully recovered from my heart attack. So my last medical exam that I did, I aced it. So they looked in, inside my body with an ultrasound of my heart and there's no sign of the heart attack that took place. So look, the, the good news is that you know when we can enact the chain of survival, when we can get to, to people, and they do survive through the chain of survival, we can have really positive outcomes. So we need more people being confident to step in and become a proactive bystander and save a life. Hey, Greg, I know that you are um, a, a very private person when it comes to, to personal matters. And so for you to, to come out and to share this and talk about the impact it had on you and your family is quite big. Um, just tell us about the CPR class you've got happening. What's planned and how can people get involved? We have a one-hour special tomorrow at 3 p.m. on Channel 9 and a huge thanks to Channel 9 for really backing this and supporting it. It's an educational show. It's non-confrontational. So there'll be stories about survivors like myself and other survivors. There'll be some stories about those who have lost loved ones. But it's an educational piece about sudden cardiac arrest and how to be a proactive responder, a bystander. It culminates in a CPR demonstration by Surf Life Saving New South Wales and once you've participated, you can get online and download a, a certificate of participation to say you've been part of the world's largest CPR class, 2021. Thanks. Good stuff with it. As you said, that's at 3 p.m. on Saturday. We'll all be watching. Thank you so much for joining us, Greg. Thanks, it's so Greg. good to see you looking healthy. Well, um, but thank you, really, Ellie. Thanks, Alex. It was a really powerful chat with Greg, just talking through that night. And I also nice. sat down with Jeff. Um, who's never spoken about what happened that evening. So if you can, really? tune in at 3 p.m. Well done. Well done, Ali. It was really weird seeing that because we had him on our TV last night, so <laughs> five little ducks. <laughs>